Welcome to Unix Services Training. Today we'll be learning about Veritas Volume Manager. By default every operating system has a volume manager which can be maintained. But when, on top of that Veritas which is now known as Semantic gives you an opportunity to utilize their product. The Veritas volume manager which can be installed on the operating systems like Windows, AIX, Solaris, Linux, HP UX and so on. What is a volume manager or a logical volume manager? The logical volume manager gives you an option to expand or to add on more disk space while users are connected and while they are working. In case you run out of a space, you can get more space by adding volumes and utilizing the volumes for whatever the requirement you have on the operating system. So Veritas Volume Manager is a product which can be installed on different operating systems. The base can be either Windows, Solaris, Linux or any other operating system. So it can be installed and it can be utilized as a volume manager. The other operating systems like Linux also has logical volume manager by default also. So the Veritas volume manager VXVM is a proprietary logical volume manager for Veritas which is now known as Semantic. It's available for operating systems like Windows, AIX, Solaris, Linux and HP UX and so on. So we have to know certain jargons like uh, which has not been understood so some of the physical objects what we are talking about is the physical disk which can be made available to utilize it utilize for a volume manager either it can be coming from a LUN like a storage device or it can be a physical device which is there on your machine or it can be a virtual device from any virtual appliance as well So we have virtual objects which are VM disks. So a VM disk is contagious area of disk space from which the volume manager allocates storage. It's nothing but a public region. So once you go ahead and start utilizing the disk which has been there. Example is a partition or a block device which is shared from a storage to your operating system. So when the volume manager tries to allocate the space, so that's called as VM disks. So we just take a normal disk and we just plug it onto the Veritas volume manager for utilization. So we call this as a VM disk. So we have disk groups and we have sub disks. So a disk group is a collection of VM disks that share a common configuration. So we can have multiple disks which is utilizing the same configuration. And we have sub disks. A sub disk is a set of contiguous disk blocks. We can utilize a disk block as well. <coughs> So it can be utilized in one or more sub disks. So plexus. So what is a plex? So the volume manager utilizes the sub disks to build virtual entities. So inside a volume manager we can just build virtual entities. These are called as plexus. So how we would implement? We will definitely go ahead and perform a practical session the same so where you can understand more in detail 
and last comes the volumes which we go ahead and create a volume and we apply the file system for this and we give this specific specific partition or uh, space for utilization of to for the applications or for databases or any sort of uh, requirement which is there on the operating system which can utilize this disk space so that was a quick introduction what <coughs> what is a veritas volume manager and uh, what are the other concepts like physical objects and virtual objects which has to be known so right now what i have done is i have just uh, configured my rel6 machine which is there and i have installed so let me see the release of the operating system so we have red hat linux server 6.2 which i am utilizing and <coughs> right now i already have the volume manager the veritas volume manager which is configured for this so it can be i am right now utilizing kvm and linux operating system as the base operating system to perform this activity so i have the operating system right now which is red hat and on top of that i have installed veritas volume manager so we'll just go ahead and continue with the same and start working and performing the lab activity thank you for viewing and have a great day ahead